write about them, you will need to summarise. This video will look at what summarising is and how to summarise longer texts in a paragraph. Summarising means taking the main idea of the text and writing it in your own words, or paraphrasing, which we looked at in the previous lesson. We actually summarise a lot in everyday life. Let's look at Tom. He wants to know uh, what the film Avatar is about. Last night I watched that film Avatar. Really? I heard it's a great film. Oh, it's great. It's fantastic. It starts off with this guy on a ship and he's sat there and he's got like this mask on and there's loads of these white strobe lights and then all of a sudden he wakes up and he's in zero gravity and he's floating around and you think like, oh, he's, he's perfectly fine, it's all completely normal. And then this spaceship lands down onto this planet and then you suddenly find out that he's in a wheelchair and then he comes out on this wheelchair and he can't walk and you're looking around and there's kind of this base and he's got these walls all around these things and you know the interesting thing is about the walls is that they're kind of made from metal and then they've got all of these like little razor wire all around the top but then there's like army guys that are all around the side as well and they've got these massive machine guns and the machine guns kind of look like the thing from Alien but you know they're a little bit more bulkier and then he gets out and he walks in and then you find out that his actual his brother was meant to go there but actually it's not his brother, it's him. And they managed to swap it around but they're twins. And... Tom's friend Daryl did not know how to summarise. He included lots of unnecessary details and did not clearly say what the main idea of the film was. Let's look at another summary from Tom's other friend, Joel. Tom, hey man, how are you doing? Oh, hey, Joel. Hey, how's how it going? You? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I'm good. Yeah, good. Hey, uh, I saw this movie recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was amazing. Avatar. No, 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 please. <laughs> Tom, look, I tell you what, let me just summarize it for you. Uh -huh. So there's this guy, he ends up getting to go to a planet, Yeah. Uh, and he falls in love with this girl on the planet, and both of them together help save the planet against people who want to exploit the material resources there. It's unbelievable. Sounds great. Yeah, you should, I'm serious, you should watch it. Joel's summary is much better because he only talked about the main idea and did not include unnecessary details. If we are summarising ideas from a paragraph or a short text, we can summarise the main idea in one to three sentences. However, if we summarise longer texts, we do need to include some important details. First, read for the main idea and write it. The best thing to do is to read the text then, without looking at it, think and write in your own words what the main idea is in one sentence. You should also state the title and the author. For example, this is the first sentence of a summary paragraph and is the topic sentence. For the rest of the paragraph, you are going to write important details that support the main idea. So, highlight. To do this, first read the text again and highlight important details and key words. Generally, the first sentence of each paragraph has some important information, or there might be an important fact or statistic. Write the supporting details. Don't forget everything you have learned in previous lessons. Make sure you paraphrase so you write in your own words. You should also make sure that you are coherent and any sentence you include clearly supports the topic sentence. Add cohesive devices. You also need to add cohesion by using reference to avoid repetition and you should also use linkers. For example, you can use linkers of sequence such as first, after that, finally. You can use linkers of addition, such as also and in addition. You can use linkers of contrast, such as however. And using concluding linkers is a good idea, such as therefore. Put an in-text citation at the end. This should include parentheses with the author's surname and the year the article or book was published. After you do this, you should have a paragraph of about four to six sentences. So to review, summarizing is writing the main idea in your own words without 
unnecessary details. Let's look at the example summary. First, there is a topic sentence with the main idea and the author and title. Then, there are supporting details that support the topic sentence. There are reference and linkers to add cohesion, and there is an in-text citation at the end.